In this video, we'll be looking at how Sage has streamlined the service billing features in Peachtree County 2011. In the past, if you wanted to bill using time tickets, expense tickets, or reimbursable expenses, you had to create each invoice individually. But now, if you go to the task menu, you'll see a new choice in here that says invoice time and expenses. If we choose that, we'll get the invoice time and expenses filter selection window. First, you can set an as-of date or a cutoff date. This is the, the last date for which Petri will select items to be invoiced. Next, you can choose to filter for all or a range of uh, customers or jobs. We'll leave those set to all for this example. And these filters work just like they do in the reports, so you should already be familiar with how, how to use those. The last section here is what to invoice. So you can choose whether you want to invoice time tickets, expense tickets, or reimbursable expenses. And also for the two tickets styles, you can choose whether you want to use the, uh, the invoice description that was entered on the ticket as the description on the invoice, or if you want to use the description that's associated with the activity item or the charge item from those tickets. We'll leave them set to use the invoice description that was entered on the tickets, and we'll click OK. Next, we'll see the, uh, the Create Invoice for Time and Expenses window. Up at the top, we can set a date that we want uh, to use for these invoices. And then we see a list of customers and the total of the items that it found to bill for those. So you can unselect a customer if you don't want to bill for them. Um, but notice that you have to accept you know, or, or exclude the entire amount. There's no way that you can select just individual uh, tickets or reimbursable items uh, for billing here. So it's very important that before you come in and start this process, that if you have any any tickets that you don't want to be billed, you set their, their status to on hold. And it's also important to note that since reimbursable expenses don't have any way of being put on hold, that if you need to be able to select or exclude individual reimbursable expenses, you're not going to be able to use this method. So um, we're going to click Create here. And Petri will bring up a message. It says we've successfully created two invoices. We could print them right now, but I'm going to click Close here so that we can uh, look at these before we print them. Then we'll go into our sales invoicing. I'm going to click the list button. And we'll scroll down to the bottom. And we'll see the invoices that we just created there on the 25th. So you can see how that can really save a lot of time, uh, a lot of effort in um, over manually entering your invoices. So I hope you find this new feature helpful.